Hey everybody, Mr. Movie Night here with the long-awaited animated film, cartoon, fun. I think I can get through this kind of quick because I don't really have that many of them. You know, it's cool though how uh, these movies, is like no matter how old you are, you know, they're fun to watch. Um, you know, I have, I have stuff that I watched as a kid and I still love to watch today. And, uh, you know, it's just, these kind of things are just really fun to have, and, you know, in the collection and... I know some people are asking about what I had and stuff. I don't have a lot of Disney movies, actually. But let me just go through these right quick and show you what I do have. Let's see if I can get over here. Um, first, we have um, Ants, which is a nice uh, animated movie from DreamWorks. Of course, you know, CGI animated. Um, this was a really good movie when it came out. Um, still very enjoyable. Hadn't watched it in a while, but I really like that. Let me see if I can maneuver in this area here. Have the uh, Beavis and Butthead. Uh, these were some Time Life uh, DVDs that they released. Um, they have uh, basically like two episodes. Well, actually, it's not two episodes. It's uh, it's like 17 cartoons on each disc, but they're themed like Innocence Lost, Chicks and Stuff, uh, sections like that. Only about these, they don't have the videos, and I wish somebody would release Beavis and Butthead uh, DVDs or you know episodes that had the videos included because I thought that was so funny, but I guess there's uh there's issues with obtaining the rights and all that kind of mess so uh, I don't know. Anyway, Beavis and Butthead Volume One. Uh, then we have Volume Two, uh, Troubled Youth, Feel Our Pain, and then we have the Butt Oween and the Beavis and Butthead Do Christmas Special, which is really funny. So if you can still find these, uh, they're 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 really good. So. Uh, I like them. And of course the Beavis and Butthead Do America movie, just fantastic. What a funny show. I mean, Mike Judge is just a genius, so uh, I love all his stuff, but it's a fun show. Okay, we got Bobby's World, the signature episodes. Um, this is a really funny little cartoon. Um, Howie Mandel does the voice of Bobby. Um, I don't know if it still airs on TV or not, but uh, it's a really cool show just a funny show and these are just a few of the I guess the favorite episodes it has like five episodes on it um, but anyway I like that show of course Pixar A Bug's Life um, everybody knows about that just one of the first great you know CGI animated movies just a lot of fun got these little cartoon crazies uh, they're kind of these cheap DVDs but they each one has you know several classic cartoons on it I'm not going to go through what those are, but they're just these different, you know, crazy, I guess, crazy cartoons or whatever that people have picked out um, as some of their favorites. And this company uh, called uh, Windstar Home Entertainment just released them and put them on these DVDs, which I got, I'm sure I got pretty cheap. So. Let's see if I can maneuver here. Chicken Little. Now, that, that is obviously a Disney film. Um, CGI. It was cute. I thought it was fun. So, um, that's cool. Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Uh, this was really cool animation. Um, I like, like I say, all Tim Burton stuff. I've mentioned that before, so this was fun. We've got Danger Mouse, the first, complete first and second seasons. Uh, Danger Mouse was a British, or is a British, uh, comedy cartoon about a, like a, Mouse uh, detective, James Bond type agent. He's a secret agent, obviously, but and uh, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, I really like British comedy, so and this is also a show I remember watching uh, as a kid on Nickelodeon. So it was great to pick that up. Got Jim Henson, The Dark Crystal, which is of course not a cartoon but a puppet animated, um, but amazing. I need to actually watch it again, but uh, it's a great movie. We've got Sesame Street, Follow That Bird, like a live-action Sesame Street movie. I hadn't even watched this yet, uh, but it looked kind of fun, so got that, got that cheap. This is a great cartoon here, uh, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Um, what a great show. comes on Cartoon Network. This is season one, but if you haven't seen this, you should really check it out. It's a really cool and funny show. Uh, Disney, Fox and the Hound, classic. Love this cartoon. Got to have that in the collection. And I got He-Man and the Master of the Universe. This is the uh, 10 episode uh, favorites. It's like the fan favorites uh, from season 1 and season 2. People picked out. So uh, pretty neat. It's like 
something like five episodes off each season or something, I think. Uh, cool. And then, of course, I had the complete uh, season one, Master of the Universe, and season two, He-Man and Master of the Universe. So, and I haven't even watched um, all these yet either. I, I need to really go back and watch them, but what a great show. I really remember this um, as a kid back in the 80s, watching these after school and everything, especially in the summertime. A lot of fun. Okay, we got Hal's Moving Castle. Uh, it's supposed to be an incredibly animated um, Asian sort of anime uh, cartoon. Really haven't even watched it yet. I can't believe that, but heard great things about it, so I had to get that. First Ice Age. Um, I like the second Ice Age too, but I just have the first one right now. Um, really great. Uh, DreamWorks did this one, I'm pretty sure. No, Blue Sky. Sorry, Blue Sky did this one. Um, really funny, great animated movie. 